my gosh that was a long day i literally just finished classes it's, let's see 9 53 i finished seven minutes early whatever my students were done i was done so i'm gonna put my glasses on i'm gonna take this to my bedroom i'm gonna lay down and i'm gonna read and i'll update you if i get any reading done because the reality is my head feels like it's been put in the blender and yeah also did i tell you that i decided to post every day this week like post a video every day this week which is i think i already explained that but my video that um is going up whoosh, but my video that is going up on when is it going up thursday is done you've already seen this so i don't mind showing you it's done uploading and i'm just gonna wait till tomorrow to put it up on my youtube channel i'm so tired so tired so yeah before i complain anymore i'm gonna go and i'm gonna read my book and i'll update you guys later bye Okay guys, update time. I really want to finish this book and if I just pushed a little bit, I could because I have about 70 pages left. But you can read these pages so quickly, but I am dead. And I noticed that I was like not even paying attention and I really want to pay attention to this book because it's so good. So I'm just gonna, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a night and I'm gonna finish this tomorrow and I'll update you when I do finish or I'll update you tomorrow or something. But for now, I'm gonna turn this light off and go to sleep. Bye guys. Well, it is, what day is it? Is it like the 7th or something? It's the 6th. <laughs> It is the 6th and I finished, is it the 6th? It is, and I finished my first book, The Monsters We Deserve by Marcus Sedgwick. And I absolutely loved this book. But I don't think a lot of people will love this book. This book is weird AF. But if you know me, you know that I love weird. So I loved it. I don't even know how to explain it, either way I'll explain. I'll try to explain it when I do my wrap up, but basically this book was incredible. I'm so glad I read it. My back is still kind of out of sorts. It's doing so much better, but oh. other things happened this week, that this weekend that were really annoying. So what am I gonna pick up next? Let's see. Okay, so the two books that I've been reading this weekend, well, that I was reading on during the weekend were Withering Heights, which I'm really enjoying. It's kind of weird, but I'm, I am really enjoying it. And this one, Starside by Brandon Sanderson, which I just have to admit it, I'm not really enjoying it. This book was really good when it was about pilots and pilots, um, just human pilots. And then we got into one of my least favorite tropes, which is chosen one, somebody has the power, but they're the only person that have the power to get us out of this situation, X-Men E trope. And I just wanted this to be about pilots. <laughs> I wanted this to be about people and pilots and piloting so it's not so i don't know i'm gonna read it anyway because i'm already i already read the first one and the characters oh, sorry i'm like sitting in such an awkward position and the characters i like the characters the problem is the whole supernatural superpower aspect of it it's just not what i want so i don't know i might actually dnf this I don't know. Let's see, what else do we have on the menu <laughs> for this week? So from the books that my husband picked for me to read this month, the ones that I think I might pick up this week are Good Omens by Neil Gaiman, Dune Messiah, because I have it on Audible, and if you haven't, oh, I'm sorry, give me, if you haven't read the, oof, if you haven't read the Audible version of the Dune books, 
100% recommend. And uh, Tudor, The Family History by uh, Leander DeLeo. So I have a bunch of books that I can read. The problem is reading them. Um, I'm kind of slumpy and I'm just going to be honest. Like the idea of picking this up, I kind of just want to pick it up and read it just so that I can finish it. Because honestly, this book is not that long. This book is under 500 pages. I can finish this book. Which, you know what? I think that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to power through this book. Because I hope it gets better. But I just can't get over the whole x men -y issue of it all. So that's an interesting clip. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to get to reading. Bye. Well, hello there. It is Wednesday and I just have a quick update. I am 70% done with Wither and Heights and I, oh, <laughs> and I think I might actually finish this today because it's so good. Guys, this is so good. Also, I'm not sure I'm supposed to like any of these characters, but I do because I like unlikable characters. That's the, this is the reality of the situation. Look what we have here. It's a pen pen. She's like angry today. I don't know why. No, I don't know what happened. She got into a fight with Sushi and so she's down here. But anyway, I just wanted to do a quick update because today's like my really long work day and I spent so long. Um, sorry, you can hear the glass behind. I spent so long uh, grading papers today because I have a bunch of essays to grade and I still have more to grade. But I really, really want to finish this today. Like I... I have, let's see, I'm on page 252 of a 400. Yeah, I can totally finish this today. Watch me not finish it till Sunday. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to finish this today because I'm on a roll here. I like it when I'm back to reading things I like. So, um, I, I know you saw that I made some changes to my TBR. I didn't want to make a lot of changes because what was the point of filming that video with my husband if I'm not going to read, look at her, if I'm not going to read the books that he picked. So I didn't make too many changes, but I did swap out, I did swap out Empire of Singin. That's the one swap out I did because I did read two of his books last month. You saw them in my wrap up. Here she comes. Look at her. Look at her. Camera whore. I love her. <laughs> Ready? I want to try to get through 10 books this month, and yeah. Hello there. I'm just out of the shower. Rodrigo is cooking, excuse me, cooking up some breakfast. And as you saw, I finished Withering Heights last night. And I finished it like at 12.30, and I went to like right to sleep. And I, and I loved it, number one, I adored it, but I, I feel I need to sit with this book for a while. I wish I had taken a class in school about this book because there's just so much there. There's so much there. It's oof, A plus, loved it. Okay, now I'm gonna have breakfast and then I have teaching all day. That means breakfast ready, I gotta go. I'm gonna take a picture of my outfit for Instagram, but I'm feeling so springy right now and it's just, a nice feeling after so many months of bad weather and whoop is that my boob my boob slipped out <laughs> i'm wearing a bra it's fine uh but anyway yeah i love my outfit i'm gonna post it on instagram and i'm gonna show you what rodrigo made for breakfast hang on here's the kitties i don't know how much kitty content you've had in this vlog pretty sure plenty of that one not much of this one you know baby and there's rodrigo he is the Spanish man that makes the best Venezuelan arepas in the world. Because this is like Venezuela's national dish. And Rodrigo learned to make them for me. Right, babe? Yeah. Thank you. So are we going to enjoy breakfast now? Mm -hmm. Yes, do you want to say anything to the vlog? Hello. Yes, it's me. It's me. <laughs> Have you read anything? What? Have you read anything this week? You did! Can you tell the vlog what you read? Um, I, I read um, uh, Chilusco. 
Yeah, Chulu's. I I think it's called the mountains of the call of the the call of, of Chulu. Yes. By who? I know the the name in Spanish, but I tried to translate the name. You did a good job. And uh, who's the author? What? Who is the author? Oh, Lovecraft. H.P. Lovecraft. Did you like it? Uh, yes. Yes. And who gave you that book? What? Who gave you that book? Are uh, you? Yeah. <laughs> I always give him books because um, he does like to read, but he stopped to, yeah. I like? Yes, that's what oh, I said. Okay. <laughs> he likes to read, Good but... Good morning, my <laughs> friends. I understand English, but not at this moment. Yeah, I always give him books because he used to be like a really avid reader, like my level. But then, you know, um, he stopped commuting to school and that's where he got most of his yeah. reading done. So he kind of fell out of the habit, but he's getting back into it. I'm really excited. I really like it when we're in bed reading together. Ah, I read one book. Oh, sorry, hang on. One or two books uh, at the month. Per month. Yeah, per month. Uh, but when when I was young, more young. <laughs> younger. Younger. Mm -hmm. uh, I read in uh, in train. Mm-hmm. Uh, many books, like uh, 10, 12 books per month. Like me! Yes. Yeah. So, my idea is to get him, because he enjoys reading and he's told me many times that he wishes he could read more. So, I always encourage him to like, hey, let's read for a while. You want to come read with me? And it's like a special thing we share, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to get breakfast now. <laughs> Bye! How did I make it to Friday? I don't understand. But it's Friday and I just finished All Systems Red by Martha Wells and what have you guys done? Like I was fine not starting any other series and now I need to know what happens to Murderbot. I love him. He must be protected at all cost and against anyone that tries to harm him, including himself. <laughs> I loved it. It was so good. Like at parts I was like, I'm not sure I'm liking this. This seems too... Like, there were words that were a little bit, you know those, like, it, fa it's not fantasy. Well, all, it also happens in fantasy, but those sci-fi books where they, like, start off with words that they know what they mean, but you don't know what they mean. And I'm not that smart, you guys, so. But in the end, I ended up loving it, and I want the second and third, and they're up to five books. I can't keep starting series. <laughs> but anyway, I want to show you my outfit today. I kind of showed it on Instagram Instagram and Twitter. Um, I'm, but I'm, I'm like so into what I'm wearing today because guys, again, Space Pirate. I'm all about the sci-fi here on this channel. And uh, so let's see. I'm wearing this thing that is supposed to be a dress. Uh, but it's too short so under it I put on shorts but then I remembered that I have these like like yoga style cool pants I don't know if that was in frame or not and they're like open so they're really good like pant to just own because you can wear it in the summer as I'm wearing them now with nothing underneath sorry I haven't shaved no I'm not sorry I haven't shaved like whatever <laughs> I'm not going out and um and then you can wear them in the winter with like, like just layer it. And then there's this dress that does the same. I wear this dress in the winter to go out. I just wear like something warm underneath, turtleneck, long sleeve. It's great. Um, I'm trying to do this thing with my closet where I don't have so many items, but just items that work for like every season. And I absolutely just, we're back to slippers. Let me take off the slippers actually. We're back to space pirating, and I just feel all the sci-fi right now. My plan for today is to finish Heartstopper because I already read, but because blah, blah, blah. hang on, let me let me come here because I have like an actual spreadsheet of like when I should be finishing books and stuff. And uh, oh, <laughs> YouTube just sent me a thing of you just reached 500 subscribers. Thanks, guys. Um, I still can't believe it. We're not going to talk about that. But anyway, I have like a little spreadsheet of like the books that I want to get done in the week. So this week, I wanted to get done The Monsters We Deserve, which I did. I wanted to get done with Withering Heights, which I did. I wanted to get done with All Systems Red, which I did. And now I want to read Heartstopper. I'm already on page 50, and I'm so glad that I didn't hold 
like anything against Alice Osman for what is it called? Radio silence, which I didn't need to hold anything against her for it because it was just not the book for me, but it was still a really good book. So um, it was just not my book. I think I explained that in my wrap up. But I'm glad that I didn't like not read Heartstopper because of her because this is like the cutest thing ever. So I'm, I'm looking over here because I'll show you. So see, I have this. This is what I'm looking at basically. So I have everything. Uh, laid out. I really like to have things laid out like that. That way I'm like keeping track and If I do finish heart supper today, which I probably will I would have finished my classic and my graphic novel for my TBR takedown project for this month So that only leaves the nonfiction the reread the continuation of the series because I'm counting Dune as my continuation of the series, not Starsight, because I wasn't supposed to read Starsight this month. But that's going to be this weekend. I'm going to read, I'm going to finish Starsight this weekend. Like, I don't care what I have to do. I'm going to finish it this weekend. Look, this is just a clip to say, I love Murderbot so much. Like, I love him. I love him. I love the story. It was so good. I. It was kind of like, I love it when, because this happens to me with, with sci-fi a lot, which is my favorite genre, which um, I, I'm halfway through the book and I'm like, okay, this is cool, I'll give it three stars, and then it's like, this is a five star book, it's my new favorite, and this happens to me with almost all science fiction novels, except one, which we'll talk about later. And well, Heartstopper was cute from the beginning, I really liked it, it's, I love this, the drawings, I like how like, cute it is. Mm, I'm not gonna get into the fact that it is true that most gay male characters are written by female. I, I think, I'm sorry if Alice Osman doesn't identify as female. Um, I'm really sorry, but uh, as far as I know, she does, so. Uh, yeah. Mm, that's the only little caveat that I have, but the rest of it is amazing. Um, All Systems Red, just really, this is just a clip to say All Systems Red are, is great. Um, I have a class in 10 minutes, so I'm gonna get to just preparing for that. I only have two hours today. I didn't sleep. You can't see the amount of caked on makeup I have and how I'm holding this to the best possible angle, but I've slept three hours. We had a crazy thunderstorm last night that like, it felt like the thunder was hitting the building. <laughs> no joke. It woke me up from my sleep. It was, it, my cats were scared. It was really, really, really bad. And I have, I think I've mentioned that I have a weird sleeping disorder. The weird sleeping disorder that I have is that I suffer from like very, um, like I, I what, what happens is I suffer from sleep paralysis, but unlike most people that suffer from sleep paralysis, you might get it once or twice. Maybe I get up to 10 times a night. So, and if you've ever had sleep paralysis, you know how fun that can be. Anyway, this clip is long enough. I filmed a video today. You'll see it later. It's all about my thoughts on YA and why I don't read YA. So, let me know if you watch that. Let me know anything you want to let me know. I love hearing from you guys. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready for my two classes. Bye. Hi. So I finished my classes and I also finished Heartstopper by Alice Osman and I'm glad that I gave this comic book a chance. As a bisexual woman myself, and I guess this is my coming out on booktube, um, I really felt these characters. Um, I remember the first time I fell for a girl and I also googled like, I, I like boys but I like girls and I was actually telling my mom how my sister was the one that one day asked me if I wasn't sure if I wasn't a lesbian. Um, and I was like, no, no, no. And she's like, I, but you like girls. And I, I never, I never like questioned that because I also liked boys. So I just thought it was like, I had con kind of convinced myself that I didn't like, that I didn't want to be with girls. Like I was like, oh, I can fall in love with girls, but I just don't want to be with them. That changed eventually, and now I'm in a heterosexual relationship. <laughs> um, but I am definitely bisexual, and I really identified with Nick um, as a character because 
finding these things out is really like difficult and I think that the, the comic book does a really good job of showing that. So I loved it and I completed my challenge. I finished Heartstopper. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna get my tripod and we're gonna like discuss the books that I finished and my thoughts about them. All right, so I'm pretty sure since I started filming, these are the books that I read and I kind of want to give like a general wrap up. Um, the first two books I'm gonna talk about, you would have already seen if you saw my um, April wrap up which I read 20 books and I had a lot of chaotic energy in that video but I'll link it up here and if I remember down below probably won't remember but I'll definitely link it in the cards and these are the first two books that I'm going to talk about which is A Study in Scarlet by Arthur Conan Doyle which I gave five out of five stars to so happy that I started reading Arthur Conan Doyle's books and yeah that's pretty much it I really loved it and the other one that I read was The Sign of Four which is the second book in uh like the sherlock holmes world <laughs> i guess um and i gave this one four out of five point four point five out of five stars and i also really enjoyed it and i really liked sherlock just like taking drugs that was fun um the next book that i read this week was withering heights by emily bronte and i gave this five out of five stars i really love this book and this probably just beat out Jane Eyre for my favorite classic. Um, I love that everybody in this book is kind of a horrible person, except Kathy. Not Kathy Earnshaw, but Kathy Linton. I also love, um, not generational, but uh, like legacy romances and things like that. So um, I gave this five out of five stars. Now, I don't know if I read this for this vlog, but there's always time to mention Binti. I read Binti in the, in the last week and I loved it. So uh, five, out of five, five out of five stars for that. And then on my Kindle, I read, so on my ebook, I read All Systems, oh, there you go, All Systems Read by Martha Wells. And I love this and I can't believe that I'm gonna get into a five book series because that I was so not trying to get into a series and I didn't realize that this was a series but this was so expertly done and I I love it's really hard to write a, a science fiction book about a machine that becomes self-aware that is truly that that truly brings something original and it that's not to say that that's not like a good like that other books are not good because they don't bring original things but this book really brought some original things to the world of a machine becoming sentient and self-aware you know um i just was blown away by this uh in the beginning i was a little bit iffy about it but i i I've, i said that that science fiction tends to be like that for me like i'll be like this is a three star this is a three star and then suddenly at the very end it's like five stars um so yeah all Systems Read by Martha Wells. And then I also read... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use... <laughs> I... Oh, okay. So I know this is not the cover, but look at that cute art. Let me see. Oh, focus. Focus! There you go. <laughs> um, I read Heartstopper by Alice Osman, and I'm really, really glad that I gave Alice Osman a second, a second chance because her writing was not the problem for me when it came to her book radio silence it that wasn't the issue for me the issue for me was that it just wasn't the book for me but this one was definitely the book for me and it goes to show you uh that i can enjoy a ya contemporary it just depends on the ya contemporary again there's a video about that also on my channel i think it will go up before this video so i'm gonna end it here these are the one two three four five i think there's more but i didn't so these are the five books and i'm gonna use this as a, a thumbnail that i read uh actually six books that i read this week i'm really proud of myself that i read so much because I, I didn't think that i was going to and well this weekend i plan to finish star sight by brandon sanderson or at least get well into it uh, I've already ranted about it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'm, I've never done a week vlog before, so I don't know how this is gonna go. 
I think this is gonna be kind of a disaster to edit but I want to edit it because I think I touched on some really important things for my channel and for me that I want to get out there so also um, my last video I don't know if it'll be like my last video but my video talking about kinks and and romance and reading problematic romantic things in books went up and upon re-watching it i still stand by everything i said but i think that i missed some points and um i don't know what to do i don't know if to do a follow-up video because like i said my book chats are not scripted and i think that after i do them and then i read the the, the comments and the replies which so far have been really positive and i'm, and I'm glad because i think that video could have been easily misunderstood and yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to do a follow-up video about why we focus on romantic relationships not being okay versus other things like murder, revenge, um, uh, lying, uh, that those kind of things that don't have to do with relationships. And I think that reading Heartstopper brought a lot of that into my mind and also the fact that I was replying to people. Um, that were commenting and again thank you so much for everyone that kind of kept an open mind and a positive I don't know outlook into what I was trying to say because I, I understand that problematic relationships being shown in fiction can have an effect on real life but I think I do mention in that video um, no I'm pretty I'm 100% sure that I mentioned that video that this was coming from a place of an adult that understands these things and not from a place of a younger person or an adult that doesn't understand and that because we don't talk about these things more takes a cue from these works of fiction and and brings them into their real life but yeah you see i said i was gonna leave it for another video and here i am talking about it i'm really tired so i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching um really it means a lot uh to me that anybody sits through any of my videos um especially these really long videos also i kind of like this filming area because this like light is hitting me at a perfect angle yeah leave a comment like subscribe tell me if you've seen any of my videos thank you so much for 500 subscribers we'll see how that goes after my ya video and yeah I really appreciate you guys, love you guys so much, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys. I can't believe I finally finished this video. It. I don't know how this is gonna go for editing, but I think I have enough content, so yeah. <laughs> Bye guys.